Hey Tony, very nice to meet you. It's a big honor to share with you this time. Okay. First question, um, every fan obviously talks now about The Walking Dead. So I wonder, did you expect the success of The Walking Dead as, as a TV show? Or you have like some like, oh, maybe it won't work as a TV show? Yeah, I, well, I never expected it to be like this. Mm -hmm. That's for sure. Uh, you know, by the time it became a TV show, the, the comic had been around for a while and kind of proven itself. Uh, you know, so I, I had always hoped that, mm -hmm. you know, that it would be like, you know, that it would be well received, but mm -hmm. I never in a hundred years would have expected it to be the, you know, the mega hit that it has become. Uh, it's just kind of really bizarre for me to, for, um, for horror at all to be accepted, much less like really mainstream, you know, like in vogue. Uh, so it's it's been really cool to see, you know, how many people are, have really gravitated toward it. You know, when I'm at uh, at a convention in the middle of Kansas and middle-aged housewives are bringing up uh, mm -hmm. copies of, of the book and they said, you know, like I, I got into the show and I, 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 I've never read a comic book in my whole life, but I started reading this and I love it. Um, you know, so, yeah, just to see like the, the spread of, you know, how far it's spread and how... Um, really, you know, ravenous the, the audience is for it. It's really strange. I never, I, yeah, I don't think anyone could have seen it coming, so it's really strange to see it. How would you describe your style, your comic book style? My comic book style? I would say um, um, kind of cartoony, but dark, um, uh, gritty, um, but not without uh, humor. Um, I think uh, horror and humor kind of have to go hand in hand to, to a certain degree, but um, yeah, I guess that would probably be it. You also work in some exterminator graphic novel, if, if I recall. Mm -hmm. Why can't you tell us about that? Um, well, yeah, I did the exterminators at Vertigo for uh, several years, and um, uh, that was a just kind of a, a strange kind of pedestrian kind of book. Uh, about exterminators in, in L.A. Um, who kind of come across some really strange um, supernatural kind of things. Uh, so it has like some X-Files overtones uh, mixed in with like really blue-collar kind of, uh, you know, exterminating work. Um, uh, and then after that I did a book called Fear Agent at, uh, at Dark Horse. Uh, that's kind of our love letter to... 1950s sci-fi with the you know the fishbowl helmets and the rocket ships and the, the you know the ray guns and all that whole nine yards. Um, so, and then from there I've uh, been working at Marvel. I did uh, Ghost Rider and um, Punisher. And, um, recently did Venom over there, and uh, you know it's been really cool. Um, just to finish, uh, how how much is your involvement on the was you involved in the actual selection of the cast or something when they did the TV show? Did you have any involvement like, oh, this actor looks like him, I want this actor to be? Did they consult you? No, no I, I've been pretty uh, pretty uninvolved with the creation of the show. You know, it's mostly, I've just been really astounded at how, how you know, completely and, and perfectly things have been translated from the show, especially visually. It's been really bizarre to see, you know, some of the characters look so incredibly like uh, you know what's in the book and some of the scenes are translated so perfectly it's uh, okay. really really wild beautiful yeah. okay Tony